free chlorine, total chlorine, combined chlorine, what the heck, what's going on here? What are all these? Please explain it to me in a way that makes sense. I got you, here we go. Free chlorine measured in parts per million should be two to five parts per million. Free chlorine is the chlorine in the water available to work and act as both a sanitizer and an oxidizer. It's the chlorine in your water doing its thing, making the water safe. So that's free chlorine. We're gonna go put that aside right now. That's a really important number. That's the one you wanna know when you measure your chlorine and you don't otherwise say which one of these chlorines we're measuring. That's the one we're measuring, free chlorine. So now let's talk about combined chlorine. So combined chlorine is chlorine that has combined with bacteria or organic debris in the water and it does its thing it sanitizes or it oxidizes it can do both it's chlorine it's awesome but once it does that it's not free chlorine anymore it's a little different it's still chlorine it's a chloramine actually and it's no longer free and available to do that thing you need it to do to keep the water clean and safe we measure that as combined chlorine because it's significant when it builds up in the water or let's start even more basic the ideal number for combined chlorine in your pool is zero so we we establish free chlorine two to five parts per million combined chlorine zero parts per million that's the amount we want but you know what this is the real world and you're gonna end up having some fine combined chlorine because you have stuff go in the pool you go in the pool eventually you're gonna have some combined chlorine in the pool. So how much is okay? Well, you have to add a lot of chlorine to the pool to ultimately get rid of this combined chlorine. At the end of the day, that's the process that we follow here and it's called breakpoint chlorination. Whatever our combined chlorine number is, we have to make our free chlorine number 10 times the combined chlorine number. So. We're gonna pick real numbers here. Two to five parts per million is our free chlorine. Zero should be our combined chlorine, but you know what? It's not zero anymore. It's, it's point, let's say 0.5 parts per million, half a part per million. You measured it and that's what it says on the thing. So what does that mean? Well, to get rid of that breakpoint chlorination means we need to raise the free chlorine number to be 10 times point five parts per million combined chlorine, which is five parts per million. So if we raise the free chlorine number to five parts per million and we hold it there for 12 hours because it takes a long time, you gotta make sure the free chlorine level doesn't go down. It's gotta stay there where we put it at five parts per million. That's called breakpoint chlorination. That's how you get rid of combined chlorine and when we test again 24 hours later, that 0.5 parts per million combined chlorine should now be ideally zero parts per million combined chlorine. So we really, we've covered like a host of information, like actually pretty in depth. This is like pretty advanced stuff even about chlorine. You know what the free chlorine is, you know what combined chlorine is and that it should be zero and ultimately how to get rid of it when you need to through breakpoint chlorination. So what's, what's total chlorine? What's that? That's simply this one and this one put together. Some measuring methods don't allow you to measure combined chlorine directly. We, we can't do it. So the only way you can do it is measuring the free chlorine and the total chlorine and any discrepancy between those two numbers, when those two numbers are not exactly the same, the difference is the combined chlorine value. But if you have a testing method which allows you to measure the combined chlorine directly, then you only need to know free chlorine and you only need to know combined chlorine and you already know everything there is to know about free chlorine and combined chlorine as far as taking care of your swimming pool goes anyway. So we actually covered a lot of ground here in terms of free chlorine, combined chlorine, what total chlorine is and why you probably don't need to know about it. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.